Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Frozen. <laughs> um, today I'm reading for the collective. Hey, collective, flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a private reading with me or to shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, so these letters been lettering, okay? They've been... I ain't gonna hold you. They they they, they, they getting a little bit better than my dream state. And I got a lot of messages from my dream state, but Spirit was like, you need to switch it up a bit. I'm like, all right. So let's see what else Spirit got cooking in these messages. Let's see. I need something good. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, got a letter. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, like, oh. O H O. <laughs> Someone got some bad news and their level of excitement was super high at one point in time, but now it's, it's, it's like, it's been deflated. It's like, Phew. like somebody knocked the happiness out of someone, knocked the wind out of you or attempting to knock the wind out of you. I just keep hearing, oh, that sucks. What sucks? So we have I and we have history. So someone may have an, an eye for history. You may love the history channel. Someone's watching your history. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Someone's watching your history, going through your history, fine teeth, fine comb. Y'all get my drift like this. Come on. Like a rat tail comb. And they're fine tooth combing every aspect of your life. Every aspect. Why? How is this person doing this? <laughs> All right, toil and labor. <laughs> I chuckled because I heard I don't want you to work hard. <laughs> Wait, is this a love for you? Don't do us like that. The uh, divine. All right, don't do me like that, boo. Let's see. This person is working hard for you so you don't have to work hard. Somebody is working hard for you, so you don't have to work hard. Bruh, <laughs> come on, stop playing with me. Listen, <laughs> stop playing. So a male could be doing this. Or you, so women, a man could be doing this for you behind the scene. 
because they keep saying that it works for both sides. And I'm trying to figure out how does it work for the masculine? Because I, 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 I see the correlation, but I can't put it into words. This is something you don't see coming. It's a secret. Someone is in deep thought about you. <laughs> Listen, hold on, y'all. Come on. I'm here for this. How does it work for the masculine, though? That's that's the part I want to know. How does it work out for the masculine? Karma. Nah, <laughs> false person. So, I get it. Okay. So, there's a false person from your past. That has racked up a lot of karma. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now it makes sense. These are two individuals here. This is two people. Let me pull one more. We have courthouse. That's why I keep asking, how does it work for the masculine? Because it works for the feminine energy, but not for the masculine. This masculine, all right, I'm going to flip it as many ways I can. This masculine here could be going through karma. That's one way. And it could be in their thoughts in their mind because they are the false person here now i feel like they finally got the the truth to the past now they're feeling sorry for you because of the karma that they try to inflict onto you it's now being inflicted onto them when they're now experiencing this this detrimental karma so they keep going back to the history here right they keep going back to the history and they're working hard so you don't have to work hard. They're trying to do something for you so that way you don't have to work hard anymore. And they feel by coming towards you is going to lessen or lighten their load of karma by them helping you move forward here. It has something to do with courts. and the community do the right thing that makes sense oh that sucks but on the flip side there is a suitor in this mix here in this community because i'm going to spin it there is a there is someone in the community that do watch you and very enthralled or intrigued by you they're smitten by you is everything you do they love and they're also working hard behind the scenes to make sure to ensure that you don't have to work hard so this is two people here because that's why i'm like it only benefits the feminine but not the masculine why would it not benefit the masculine that makes sense now there's two people here that are fighting for your attention or will soon to fight for your attention if not yet this is for uh this is for people that are single not married not in the connection this is specifically a singles reading 
okay? For singles, meaning you not entertaining anyone. This message is for you. Now, on the flip side of the masculine as well, too, the divine masculine. Okay, they said don't make. All right, so I'll make a separate video for the divine masculine. Okay. This is solely for divine feminines. I'm speaking to individuals that are on the positive side of things, on the lighter side of things, not out here causing chaos and mayhem to people and themselves. I'm speaking to you. Okay. This message is for you. So there are two people here. There's one from the past that is trying to right their wrongs with you because they finally realize, oh, that sucks. Oh, this, oh, that. They're having epiphanies as to what really transpired from the past. So they're wanting to come in to right their wrongs with you here. That's the false person. And they're watching you. They're wanting to hash things out to change the narrative or the dynamic between you and them to the point where, okay, now they see your worth now, but after all this has happened, now they finally see you in this way. They're wanting to lighten the load of their karma by coming towards you in regards to this change like energy. Oh, I've changed, I this, I that, da, 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 whatever the case may be but they're the false person. Now, they're the false person, but this false person does have important information for you. They do. Yes, they're false, but at the same time, they have important information for you that needs to be given to you. Take that how that resonates, however you need to do, do that. On the flip side, there is a main male, right? So there's a false person and there's a man. Right. So you get my drift. There is a man that acts like a man. He says he's a man. He shows it is his it shows daily that he is that who he say he is. This also is a man, but just a false man. And this person is not who they say they are. This false person is trying to come back into your good graces here, hoping that she'll take them back so you can alleviate the karma. This new person here is also fighting for you behind the scenes, but you don't know that. So there are two individuals that are coming towards you here that you may not be aware of. One is good, one is not. I'll take that back. One is great, one is not. I'm going to be pulling for my letters more. I actually love this. I love this. I'm going to be pulling for my letters more, bro. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see. Now we get somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, hi, yourself. This is the false individual here that are um, attempting to come to you as if they have changed and they have not changed whatsoever here. Now this is funny because this fell on top of main mail which will be the main person in your life when they come towards you here. Devotion, dedication, nourishment, joyful home, good relationships, love, new love of people and projects manifesting. This person's actually manifesting you. They see you, they saw you, they see you somewhere. Okay, this is a new person, but they've already seen you. Some way, somehow, they've seen you already. They made contact, eye contact. You may have already. You may not have been aware. Please don't be in my down below. Oh, stop. Book a reading, a proper reading, okay? Just don't do that. Thank you. Now, main male here. This is the, this going to be the main person in your life that's going to give you all of this. You're going to give them this as well, too. It's going to be equal reciprocity. But... I'm here for this. I'm here for this. 
they're also working hard behind the scenes to make sure or to ensure that you don't have to work hard. I like that. <laughs> okay, this person is your equal without saying too much. Protection, spirituality, guidance. I'll just say they're connected. And that's all I need to say. Okay. That's the main male that will be in your life. On the flip side, you got the karmic, overwhelmed, angry, blocked. You may have blocked this person. Good job. Burnt out, stressed out, jealousy, feeling out of control, insecurities. And that's the false person, false twin that are currently going through this now. So we have pleasant encounters, pure feelings, fulfillment and love, value in oneself, focus, determination, rebirth, and home. Yeah, and that's going to be with this main male. Okay, collective, what? Mm. Self-limited blocks and thoughts, feeling caged and restricted, jealousy. That should pass. Feels this way. They're very fragile around you. Um, your energy is too much. It's too strong for them. Um, so, but they're still trying to come back towards you to proposition you with some kind of thing because they, like I said, they do have important information for you. But the only reason why they're coming back with that important information is because they're trying to get out of that karma and they feel like you are the only one that can get them out that karma. Hmm. It's always about me, me, me. Like in that kind of way, like this person always thinking of themselves. Well, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Yeah, this, the Ten of Wands, that's what's in it for you. Because you took something from the collective that you know for a fact that you need to return. But oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep it. There are other ways that the collective can receive this information here. You're not hurting nobody but yourself, Carmen. <laughs> yep, emptiness inside. Ace of Cups. You don't want their. You don't want their cup. They work with people here, three of Pentacles, to ensure that that you come back to them. They doing spell work, but this new person here. Like their heart, you're going to have their heart. You're going and they're going to have your heart. It's going to be an equal, a uh, equal match here. Look, you have the devil and the eight of swords. Freedom. This male masculine energy that is coming to approach you here. You, you, you're going to feel free. You're going to be able to do it. And I don't want to say it like that. You will be who you are unapologetically. And they're not going to be, oh, why are you doing that? Oh, you shouldn't. Or not kind of, oh, you doing that? All right, babe, go ahead. I got you. In that kind of way, that's going to be them. The real men not doing no spell work. They're not into that. Real men not into spell work. I, I need to keep that, I need to make that clear. <laughs> men, strong men, don't do no damn spell work. Only niggas and trash do spell work. When I say it like that, to hurt people, to harm people. Mature people don't do spell work on other people. Yeah, well, I take that back because it's a case by case, you know? So I'll, I'll leave that, I'll leave that part right there. That's case by case. But um you got the page of pentacles here. Or sorry, page of cups. Shoot, page of pentacles is good too. Page of pentacles pentacles is a new start, so that's also good. And this person, the nine of cups, this new person, they ain't a the nine of cups. Well, mm. <laughs> so this person from the past is in the nine of swords <clears throat> and two of swords. And they're wanting you to stay put. They don't want you to make a decision towards anyone else. They want you to stay with them. 
But then you have an opportunity and you fucked it up. Not once, not twice, not three times, many times. And this was before the collective knew who they were. So they gave you ample amounts of opportunity to fix yourself or to fix the issue at hand. And you decided not to karmic. So why are you upset that the collective finally see them for who they are? They know who they are and they're walking away from that travesty. You tripping. Like what? Somebody eating barbecue? I want some. <laughs> Somebody about the bar. I'm here. Barbecue. Mm, that sounds so good. Um, corn on the cob, potato salad, greens. Mm, I'm in the South. So yeah, you know, the food, the food just switched a bit. But child, mm, they nothing but a good, good Southern, Southern cooking. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else. I want some barbecue. <laughs> I want a burnt hot dog. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Come on, spirit. All right, we had transformation and clarity. So you're going to get, when you receive this message or information, Take time to take only what resonates with you. Sit down with the information that only resonates with you and you will receive your answer. Don't rush the process. Oh my God, no, no. take your time and you will receive your answer. Okay. Now let's do some letters. I need to write this down so I won't forget the title. Oh, that sucks. And you could be saying, oh, that sucks. Cause now you're looking back at your past, you're like, yeah. And then you see, you know, your past person like going through what they go, oh man, that dang, that sucks. Like you don't care, you know? Like, oh, oh well, dang, that sucks. So then it'd be, yeah. I... All right, so let's see what letters we got here. Somebody's going on, going on a lagoon. L-A-G-O-O-N. Somebody's from Lagos, Africa or Nigeria. L-A-G-O. Somebody's from Lagos. What up, Lagos? What up? What up? <laughs> um, LGA is LaGuardia. LaGuardia Airport from New York. Someone is traveling from LaGuardia or they're coming into LaGuardia. Um, someone is connecting with their oversoul. Okay, that's really good. Um, somebody is, somebody is becoming a... a, a Obudsman, O-B-U-D-S-M-A-N. Let me just look that up real quick and see what that is. Sorry, it's a ombudsman. An official appointed to investigate individuals' complaints against Mala or Mal at Lord Child. Let me repeat that. <clears throat> ombudsman. An official appointed to investigate individuals' complaints against mild administration, especially that of public authorities. So, so someone's getting ready to become a budsman. All right, congratulations. Is someone appointed to investigate complaints against an institution and seek resolutions to those complaints? All right, so you're going to be like a mediator. All right. So you could be coming in from LaGuardia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Um, somebody's from Georgia. Georgia. Somebody making peach pie. Somebody likes to call their... Uh, somebody likes to say gal. So that definitely is a Southern thing. Like, hey, gal, or something to that nature. That's my gal, or something like that. Um, someone's from the Lou, Louisiana. Someone's name could be Lou. 
Um, someone's name is is uh Lewis. Someone is skipping or they're singing um Lou Lou skip to my Lou 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 skip to my Lou. Remember that? Somebody loves Lou Batons or um okay someone is is being gifted Lou Lou Batons or Lou Batons or whatever child. All I know they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's all i know that's all i know um we have laos l-o-u-s-e someone's name could be Luis. l-o-u-i-s louisa l-o-u-i-s-a I think this is someone's first time coming to the United States. Welcome. Or if it's not their first time, this is first time leaving out the United States. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. So this is mind, body, and soul. So someone's coming to live to the United States and someone is leaving to go to another state or another country. Make sure you're drinking water. Or you're probably drinking water by the gallons. Somebody's getting new shoes. Yeah, somebody's getting new shoes. S-O-L-E. Could be sneakers. Soul is also um, defined as the actual sun. All right? The soul of your sun or the sun of your soul. All right? I ain't getting too deep with that. <laughs> All right. Um, someone is taking a solo trip. All right. You want to have an amazing time. Someone named Miss Ola. Or somebody can be watching Michael Jackson with Ola. Um, thriller. Somebody's um, eating gola, gola berries. Is it Gola or is it Gold G? Let me see. I think it's Gola though. Hold on. It's Gold G, but what's Gola? G O L A. Oh. Okay, well, Gola, what is the English meaning of Earth Gola? It's the or the orbits of Earth and other planets that revolve around the sun. Okay. Hmm. Gula. Gula is a um is an energy or deity, very beautiful energy to work with when it, when you want to um deal with healing. She's really beautiful with healing, healing matters of the heart, healing matters in family situations, anything that, re that, that responds or corresponds to healing. She's a really great energy to work with. Gula. All right. Um, somebody likes lugs or lugs are coming back out. If you know, you know, sneaker wear. If you know, you know. You're going on a shopping spree, a shopping trip. I don't know. I just keep seeing lots of money just being given to you here. Um, so whoever that's for, don't mention it, okay? Um, uh, I just see you going on like a, a big shopping spree. I mean, somebody is paying for it. Australia. You could be from Australia. Welcome. Yeah, some someone's definitely an Australian from here. Welcome, an Aussie. All right. Um, somebody's name is Gus. I'm getting all these words with just these letters, child. Somebody's from Laos. And that is the country in um, China. Um, somebody's name is Sal. I'm hearing Sal's Pizza. Salvatore's Pizza. I don't know. Just give me like New York vibes, you know? I believe there is an actual Sal's pizza in New York, if I'm not mistaken. New York is known for pizza anyways. They got the best. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake and pizza. <laughs> okay.
All right, I'm going to do three more. F, Z, and P. Somebody's going to school to be a FNP. So um, I know that's like nurse practitioner. I saw it somewhere before, F and P. Congratulations. Somebody's going for a frappe, F-R-A-P-P-E. Frappe, frappuccino. Somebody's going, so this is Georgia. Somebody went to the restaurant, OLG, Old Lady Gang. That's, um, I think that's candy, isn't it? Candy in Todd's restaurant. Or their moms, aunt or grandmoms, something like that. Someone is from South Africa. Okay, South Africa. Okay, Miss Mom, what's up, boo? Um, wasn't really a lot. UFC. Someone loves um like kickboxing, UFC, or you could be a kickboxer, or into that type of fighting style. Um. Uh, like shishitsu and stuff like that. I could be wrong if if that falls under UFC, but that's just what I'm seeing, like different types of like kicking styles. Um, but it falls underneath like, mm, ah, like karate, uh, Krav Maga, Krav Maga, like those type of fighting styles. Yeah, whoever it's for, they they know what I'm speaking about. I ain't rattling my brain. That way, nah. Somebody loves the gap. Someone's going to get their teeth filling. They don't like their gap. All right. Um, somebody's from PA. I keep hearing fuego. F U E fuego. Way. Uh I think it's F U E G O or F E U G O. But I keep hearing fuego. Let's see real quick. <laughs> fuego, fuego. Oh, it means fire. Okay. Okay, fire as well as passion. Okay, this. Mm, so this love, this new lover could be from a Hispanic background. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. It's not a house fire. No, it's like passion fire. Mean spicy as well. Someone could consider you as fuego, as hot. Okay. Nice. Somebody's, um, somebody lives in LA. Or Louisiana, because Louisiana is LA. Um... Okay, somebody wants to sing to you in a different language. So it's funny because I'm hearing Spanish. Then I'm hearing like a frequency, like a radio turning. Then I hear French. Then finally I hear uh, Italian. So this person may could, could be, um, is it called poly, poly, polyglot? Hold on. Yes, this person is a polyglot, P-O-L-Y-G-L-O-T. Basically, mean they speak a lot of languages, okay? Uh, I'm going to stop right there, but I'm very excited for whoever this person is. Congratulations. Um, I would have come to the wedding, <laughs> for real, because this, this, this sounds really good. I'm here for this, all right? Uh, oh, yeah, let me do this. <laughs> I'm here for that. 11th house, Leo, Uranus. Uh, we have Venus in Libra. 
in the sixth house. I might give you some healing love. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Fifth house. Taurus. Um, Mars. So we got an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. They could be an Aquarius. Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. They could be one. Virgo. Ooh, Virgo. Gemini. Taurus. Sag. I'll do three more. Cancer. Scorpio. One more. And Aquarius. All right. Also, I want to make clear somebody could be from San Francisco, San Fran. Um. I'm hearing Lusitania. Uh, I know that's a plane, um, European plane. Lusitania, L U F T A N S A A, or something like that. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but it's a European plane. Lusitania, something like that. Lufthansa, something like that. <sighs> All right, and yeah, and you're going on a spa. Someone is coming and just like, what do you want? What do you want? It's it literally is it's literally just like that. What do you want? What do I want? What do you want? Oh, yeah, it's it's that type of vibe. And don't can't nobody mess it up. Okay. Nobody can mess this up. So you got nothing to worry about. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time. I'm so excited for you. <laughs>